So here we are. The most annoying person in battle rap. <laughs> versus the second most annoying person in battle rap. Just a couple massive twats. Yeah, they're fine, but only in small doses, like an acid tap. <laughs> you put it down to a fucking science, mate. It's like you're from some strange planet. It's not a good look. You need to change habits. Your voice sounds like when a fork and a plate scratches. It feels like having itchy balls while in a straitjacket. <laughs> it's fucking amazing, mate. It's like some fucking talent you've got. Some holy divine right that was handed from God in a car park halfway out the handicap spot. Are you legal, mate? I'm sorry, Paul. I'm actually not. <laughs> Dog shit on a fairly new pair of shoes. <laughs> These are not fairly new. These are my parents' shoes. <laughs> or these guys at the back with the fucking pillar that impairs their view. That's annoying. Fuck you, that's a good example. <laughs> like getting an itchy sole of your foot while you're wearing boots. Or someone who takes you to the pub by his crisp and doesn't fucking share with you. Annoying! <laughs> and what are all your tats about, mate? I bet they mean nothing at all. You just went in and picked the first one on the wall. <laughs> You've even got a couple that'll cover your balls, then you get one on the dick, but it's too small! <laughs> yeah, that's right, just made a small dick joke. <laughs> they normally do him, reckon he's got a small dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Like a baby's arm! <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and you rap too quick to understand. Which is annoying because it gives you the upper hand. Because you spit an entire round, I can't rebuttal man, I'm just standing and going, what, sorry, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Sounds like speeded up mumble rap. <laughs> just because you can rap it quick, doesn't make it good if what you rap is shit. I'll make it, it, here's an example, right? Say a typist can type a thousand words a minute, total or two at tops. They're gonna be congratulated by their over-approving boss. A thousand words a minute is fucking amazing, right? So they owe them their due of props. But if he takes it out on what they've written is shit, they're going to lose their job. <laughs> <laughs> so my battles are on another level. Yours are always nothing special, uneventful, unsuccessful, fundamentally fucking dreadful. Mm. You rap like you just drunk a Red Bull, going on and on like you're bloody mental, like Finch you when he chucked the kettle. What you want a hey. fucking hey. When you got this class, you were like, finally, a good opponent. I'm up to the task, guys. When I saw I got this class, you went, fucking hell, how drunk was I last night? <laughs> 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 What's up, Chalked Out? <laughs> Looks like my sickness leave is scrapped. Oh well, it gets pretty boring collecting figurines and stamps. Two years off, and I ain't seen a decent match. I've seen a British scene collapse, but don't worry. Bagnall, there's a picture clean on that. Mm -hmm. I said, don't worry, motherfuckers. Chrissy Lee's is back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mate, where the scenic has been teaching me to rap. Cause my punches make hands move when they friggin' reach the pad. Besides, I figured that you kiddies need a laugh. I'm spitting real facts. My guillotine's intact for any shit comedian thinking he'll belittle me with that little cheesy Ricky G reenacting Mr. Bean shit matched him with an in-between a swap. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you enter you need in bath, wigger, you need a bath. <laughs> you scruffy, grumpy, ugly, disgusting pussy. You're so tall and your hair is so musky. I don't get it. You're literally head and shoulders above me. <laughs> Fucking trap. You don't even know no links. You won't buy and girls give their nose a pinch. I should have been nice and bought some cologne for it. What spray you on today, mate? Fucking beodorant. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I keep it more hip-hop than dead press with peg legs. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll be spinning single-handedly like Semtex. <laughs> if you invest in a fresh vest and some high-tech crepes, then you could be the best dressed sex pest since Fred West. <laughs> Who let the child capture from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang spit his little rap slime? <laughs> Fortunately for you, there's no kiddies here to catch, man, so tell Marlow put his dick back in his damn pants and wipe mine and Seuss's battle from your friggin' wank banks. <laughs> 
The fact this layman thinks he made to scrape a win makes me break. He's coming out the woodwork to catch an L like the aliens from Stranger Things. <laughs> and your bird's so fat, she can play chug stunt double. She used to be fit. What happened? Too much truffle shuffle? <laughs> <laughs> you had your hair cut. Man, it was great. Excuse me. Stand out of the way to make sure I capture this straight. No wonder you're jealous of that bird that Marlowe's marrying, mate, because from behind, you two bitches look exactly the same. <laughs> what are you organising for the stag do? A cosy fire and some pub grub. <laughs> Let me guess, you and the guys from book club are going to get fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> 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 Fucking Marlowe, eh? The dude's trash. Still, if me and Tommy get you pair would have been a huge clash. To be fair, this shit's practically a two-on-two -two match, because Marlowe writes all your shit and I wrote most of you now. <laughs> yes. Now, Marlowe works for a website called The Hook, full-time. Adam works for The Hook too, sometimes. <laughs> Even your best friend won't get you a job. Sucks, right? That's like saying, don't speak to me in lessons, but we can hang around at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. I'm not sure you're what the team's after. The Hulk audience need laughter from a decent actor. There's a minimal requirement for cheap banter, so you go and get this work. Oh, yeah, but it's as a freelancer. I even tried to help. I got you a sick job, dude. Your first TV appearance was down to me. This shit got views. So piss off, Christoph? That shit's not cool. I put you on the box, and I just put you in one, too. Then go to uni at Bath, and shit was stupid and it's weak. I'll tell you where I studied. Fucking uni of the streets. <laughs> I got two one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, yeah, I'm jealous of you, Chris, and I can admit that. But it's not because of your terrible rhyming or shit tracks, it's because you're from, you're from the north, where a car is the same price as a Kit Kat, and you get a fucking house for free when buying a Big Mac. I just walk in and I don't trust the way that Macclesfield feels. You shouldn't be able to get a four bedroom house as part of a fucking meal deal. <laughs> And here, there are lots of people, and so the price that they charge for houses has got no equal. I mean, so the price that they charge for houses has got no equal. The money the uh, estate agents charge should not be legal. You just go in and talk to them about that. You, know. you just go in and talk to them about it, and they turn into fucking Doctor Evil. <laughs> Do you mind if I? You go in like, excuse me, Mister Estate Agent. Sir. <laughs> I've been milling about and I've, I've seen this place I really like in the middle of town. <laughs> They're sat in a chair, stroking a cat, start spinning around like, well, Mr. Woolard, that will be a million pounds. <laughs> oh, joke, it's literally a million fucking pounds. <laughs> I bet you can't imagine that amount of money, because it's simply too complex. You know, one pound, yeah? Now imagine a million. <laughs> but not too long ago, I was actually in your little shanty town. Saw a guy on the street dressed in hand-me-downs. I threw him two 20 pence pieces and a pound. That cunt lives in a fucking mansion now. <laughs> it's so fucking cheap around there to get a pint. Uh. Nights out are about 30 pence a night. <laughs> if you save up 50 pounds, then you sit for life. And the fucking scenery around there is very nice. <laughs> I'm like, damn. That's a nice catchment area. I've seen places that cheap before, but that was scary. I've been village to the area with a 50% chance I catch malaria. What? <laughs> but then I remember, you know, it's fucking Macclesfield, isn't it? That place hasn't changed since the 1970s. Their population is the same number as their life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Which, if you're wondering, this year went up quite successfully. We saw it rise from 17 to the heights of 23. <laughs> but the fact is, even if it would be perfect with beautiful gardens and banks, they still wouldn't even dream of charging for that because you live there. So they'll still sell for half of a grand because they want to get the fuck away from you as fast as they can. <laughs> 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 has always been filled with half-wits. Hooray! You included my brother. <laughs> At least before... Let's go, Chris. Do you want me to start again? Yeah, Joe Davis. Uh, <laughs> battle, rap has, <laughs> battle rap has always been filled with half-wits. At least before someone started, battle rappers were artists. I remember when heads used to spit some hard shit. Now it's all DJ Parsnips versus MC Armpit. <laughs> You've got a lot to fucking answer for. Mark Grist. <laughs> Let's rewind five years. Shuffle's watching Mark vs Blizzard for the first time. <laughs> Marlo comes in like, Hello! Ooh, lyrical scrabble. We could do that. We could do that. We should do that. Yeah, we should. Yes, we could, aren't we? Yeah, we could. What do we do? Uh, tear it up. Where? The hood? <laughs> <laughs> do we wear? The hood. <coughs> There'll be bad people there. Yeah, what? Won't you be scared? I'm told you. Do we prepare? Yeah, every night, for every month. And then maybe the black people won't be scared of all! <laughs> Shuffle and Marlow sitting in a tree. R A P P I N G. First comes likes. Then comes shares. Then comes videos everywhere. Yeah! Let's get viral on Unilad, friends. Yes, fake Unilad, worst fucking traders in the world, friends. Oh my God, let's fuck now, friends. <laughs> That's my mate, that is. Lovely chap. I'm sure you'll all agree he was pretty good at that. <laughs> Guess what, dickheads? He doesn't rap. <laughs> we just wanted to show how easy it is to do a doubles act. Anyway. <laughs> On your Star Now profile, you say, and I quote, <laughs> I'm, listen to this shit. I'm 23, but look 29. <laughs> I had to check it twice to make sure I read it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 30, but people say I look 75. Impressive, right? No. That's like being offered to fuck Megan Fox on a film that you're casting and saying you'll only settle for a sex scene with Susan Sarandon. <laughs> Fucking 29. It's not competition, Adam. Catching glimpse in it is watch. What time do you go to bed, Shuffle? <laughs> a million o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> if he tells you anything number related, don't believe him, guys. He's the only geezer alive that's finished Stranger Things season five. <laughs> Plus he's watching season 10 of Glee tonight. And he's got the Office series three to write. <laughs> Someone needs to keep the dream alive, and if Ricky won't do it, then I guess it's up to me to shine. <laughs> Stop asking Tony D for Doc Brown's number. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 29. No one wants to be perceived as older, surely. Walking back to Marlow, I'm like, hey, Baldy, guess who just got told they look 40? <laughs> <laughs> you need to catch up, mate. And he's like, saucy. No, <laughs> not catch up. Ooh, raunchy. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing sexual. But I'm horny. <laughs> you can't help yourself. Naughty. Can't. No, Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> topic. Corn seed. Corn fruit. Orgy. Courtney. Horse cheek. Dawson's Creek. Horse deep. <laughs> Big dick, no horse. <laughs> <laughs> you dissed heretic for being vegan, but I mean to mean that you're right. Fuck off and eat your corn battered balsamic organic raw cabbage and horse radish. You're a faggot. <laughs> 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 Fucking <laughs> 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 won the round. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Now, <laughs> two in a row. Now, you, <laughs> you, keep, you keep re-uploading your old battles onto Facebook. Why is that something you do? And with them, you put a link to your website that it buffers through to, and you say, finally, my battles are all on one website. What bloody screw this? They're already on one website, mate. <laughs> Fucking useless. <laughs> Why would you embark in such a useless campaign? Because now they're on two websites, and you've just confused your fan base. <laughs> Three. <laughs> in one of your battles, at the end, you call out me and Marlo. <laughs> Instant fail. <laughs> if it was our cue to call you out, you'd have got clipped like a fingernail. Wordplay. Now... <laughs> <laughs> You'd have got clipped like a fingernail. It's actually not like a nut. Fucking terrible. You wouldn't stand a chance like a Chippingdale or an unwitting male in a women's jail. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> orange is the new black, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this, right? Me and Marlo would never, ever, 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 <laughs> ever, 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 No, you assume you get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Marlo would never, ever, 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 ever spit a verse against you and you, Nan, we'd end you in the first. You could never fit and work like us together with our words. It would be too can and can and boom again, but in reverse. <laughs> Him, however, fair play. <laughs> And then, and then you started saying that it was because we were scared. Mate, where in the fuck did you get that idea from? We were just airing you mugs. We were going to battle K, uh, K Shine and DNA right there in the cut. You think someone said Chris Lee's and we went, oh no, he's too scary for us. Are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you aware you're a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, let's put it this way, right? Say Muhammad Ali is asked to partake in a fight, say he's alive. <laughs> Against Warwick Davies, who's like eight inches high. <laughs> if he says no, is it because he's afraid of the guy, or because it would be a monumental waste of his time? <laughs> wow. I need an answer and I we ain't got all night. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's the waste of his time. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't win. You've got no hope of stopping me. More hope in the lottery. I should be rewritten into Greek and Roman theology and the poet's mythology because when I get cracking, you'll see monsters. My home is the Odyssey. Oh, yes. That's my one bit of rap. Now. <laughs> what the fuck, mate? Are you even doing that? We've been off the radar for so long that I thought that you had snapped. So to even find your battles, I needed fucking Google Maps. You're meant to return if you're relevant, you stupid twat. When I come back, I return the popular demand. When I make a return, I make a return by popular demand. Not because they couldn't get who they wanted on the card. And we both had, we both had partners drop out. Battle rap partners drop out, yeah? Wasn't it a shame? And, you know... A lot of people here went properly insane. <laughs> but Yunnan was their first resort, you were their last. They didn't want you, but they caved. But for me and Marlo, that was... Nah, it's probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, soul. <laughs> Easy, whizzy, let's get busy! <laughs> you might wonder what I'm calling Sutty for. It's because Adam's a magician. No wonder you're so fucking poor. My mate's son does magic, he's got an all. Problem is, his son is four. <laughs> anyway, I was Dumbledore. <laughs> Have you and him yet won the war against Voldemort and stopped him all the Muggleborns? <laughs> <laughs> and how are the Quidditch lessons? <laughs> Don't worry. In my house, the broomstick does some scary stuff. Honestly, it's mental. I make a mess. <coughs> sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> I make a mess. Come back. Someone swept it up. <laughs> it's rare as fuck. Somebody's telling me it's that lady that attempts to cut. <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazam! Adam turns from battle.
battle fan to Magic Man. I heard you were meant to battle Bama Lamb and Shazam! You turned him into a Fanta can. <laughs> Enjoy Azkaban. <laughs> I bet you asked your dad if you could sleep in the cupboard downstairs. Whipping out your wand if your mummy sounds scared. You and Marlow were a world-renowned pair. Now you're looking like the fucking Chuckle Brothers out there. When you said you did magic, it cut him round there. Poor lad, he looks and sounds stressed. While you've been pulling out rabbits, he's been pulling out hairs. <laughs> Sorry, Theo, but it's obvious your top's been hit. You should get the docs to up on it like fucking Kevin Costner, kid. <laughs> it's either that, rock a wig or polish it. That airline vanished quicker than Monarch did. Jeez. What a bar take off of it. <laughs> Magic. You'll do anything. You're the most desperate guy on this earth. I call it pathetic. You probably call it desire and thirst. I don't know which I think is worse. The time that your nerves put into each mime and each jerk or the fact you meet up every single night to rehearse. You're so fraught on going viral it hurts. If I told you I had a cold that was viral, you'd start writing a verse and try and rap battle the snot that I've wiped on my shirt. <laughs> and I believe you're writing a book. What's it about again, mate? Like I give a fuck. <laughs> Molly syllables, eh? Excitable stuff. Who are you going to sell it to? Rhymers that suck. Chapter 43. Words that rhyme with normally. Sounds like an enthralling read. Pardon me while I... <laughs> what do you want us all to do, mate? Congratulate you. Like you've done the hip-hop scene, a massive favour. I've just had a chat with Dre Master Ace and with Drake and all they had to say was, meh, we'll thank you later. <laughs> oh no. Turns out you are the battle rapping saviour. You just sold two copies. To Frankie Fraser <laughs> and Harry Baker. <laughs> Oh, and Shox needs one too. He'll pay for you later. <laughs> Shuffle tea! Battle rap consultancy! Looking for something fun to read? Buy a book from me! Get a useless list of multi schemes and a crossword puzzle free! <laughs> Somebody? Oh, tumble. <laughs> and listen, Clow! I'm the only magician here! The one the wizards fear! I cast a spell that made Rowan disappear! No. <laughs> <laughs> And unless you know the counter cast me, dear, he shan't be seen again for 60 years! Fucking <laughs> shuffle tea. What else you got hidden up your sleeve? A cure for lung disease, jumping beans, pumpkin seeds, the long lost summer breeze? Fucking nuts, beans, custard creams, jet prices, prenup agreement, Hogwarts dungeon keys? <laughs> got dope fucked up to Nick with two packs stuck between his fucking cheeks and brain tacks in the back pocket of your dungarees? <laughs> what did he? Nick said he wasn't gonna show up! No, they didn't. That's a lie. <laughs> no, they didn't. That's a lie. Because he's at every event. Bang on time. If there's ever a chance to grab some likes, this drip stands up right like a stalagmite. You hit the stage and leave the scene. You hit the stage and leave the scene bastardized. Use props and lose props. Fucking matching ties. I turn my back to guys with these amateur dramatic vibes. Where's the rapper I'm supposed to clash tonight? He's behind you. Oh, no, he isn't. Panama. Yeah.